A recent Blue Cross Blue Shield study found 80% of women have healthy pregnancies, but high-risk pregnancies are on the rise. So what is happening? What can parents do to avoid any issues? Medical Director of Scripps Health Perinatology, Dr. Sean Donishman, joining us this morning. Great to see you, doctor. Good morning. Good morning, Stella. Thanks for having us. Of course. Welcome. Um, what are the high-risk issues you're seeing and why? What's going on? So in that study you referenced, Stella, uh, uh, we are seeing patients more with chronic conditions before getting pregnant. So we're seeing a rise in hypertension and diabetes and obesity and mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. That study also showed an increased risk, um, increased um, incidence of pregnancy-related complications such as preeclampsia, a condition where blood pressures go up, or diabetes. Uh, so all around, complications have increased. But um, again, a lot of it is because of chronic health issues Pre, you know, prior to getting pregnant. And these are things uh, we can certainly address. Could this be related to the fact that maybe uh, more women are having kids later on in life? Uh, there are certainly more, you know, more women who are older are getting, uh, are uh, conceiving now. Uh, uh, at the same time, though, I think just um, we're not as healthy, Stella, as we need to be. Uh, and we're not very good in this uh, in this country, honestly, in regards to uh, taking preventative measures. We're not good with prevention. We're good with uh, addressing diseases. And kind of that's the, the approach that we need to take. So, you know, with Scripps Perinatology coming in, it's a system-wide program, as you know. Uh, we wanted to make sure first we can take care of the patients that need our assistance. So building our operations team, bringing in the experts, you know, the staff, um, and now starting to spread our wings by collaborating with other colleagues, our OBGYN colleagues, you know, community doctors, and being able to provide preventative programs, right? We want to make sure that a mom who gets pregnant, this is such an important time in one's life, one of the, one of the most important times in one's life, right? You know, having your family. Uh, and women will do anything for the children. So we want to make sure, again, if you're overweight, reduce that weight. We'll help you. If you have high blood pressure, we're there to help you. Again, working with our cardiologists, for example, to bring down those blood pressures. If you've got diabetes or pre-existing uh, diabetes, we'll help you to bring down those blood sugars, manage them. So when you get pregnant, you know, some of those complications that you can see in pregnancy are diminished. Again, the goal is to improve maternal and uh, neonatal outcomes. And um, and Scripps is, is, is investing in this, so which is, um, makes me very excited at my old age now seeing this uh, with an institution that is actually very much uh, in line with taking care of our uh, women and families. Well, I beg to differ. You're not old, um, but thank you for that information. It's thank very, you, <laughs> it's very helpful. So, uh, from what I'm hearing, you're saying is, you know, for mothers out there who are just thinking about, you know, they want another child or first child, whatever, start having that conversation with your doctor, right? Excellent. That's where we're going to make the biggest amount of impact. You know, speak to your doctor, speak to your family medicine doctor, to your OBGYN. You know, review your family history, obviously review your personal history, medications that you may be on, just lifestyle changes that uh, will, you know, uh, plan for a healthier pregnancy. Uh, it's always good to, you know, physicians and patients have to have a good relationship. And one of the things that I'm very excited about at Scripps again, you know, it's a respectful, compassionate group of people that are taking care of these patients. Uh, you need to have a very honest dialogue with your provider because, again, that's where, you know, pre-pregnancy, if you optimize your health, that's where we can make the most amount of impact in a positive way. By chance, just for full disclosure, I was a patient there at your office, Dr. Sean Donishmond. You were not my doctor, but Dr. Starikoff took very good care of me. Uh, so thank you for doing everything that you're doing there in your office, helping so many women. Anything else you'd like to add before we go? No, these are exciting times. There are a lot of opportunities. We're excited to be uh, you know, helping our fellow uh, women and families. As you know, Stella, women are the CEOs of our communities. And again, I always remind yes. everyone, including myself, the bond between a mother and a child is something that no one can ever explain. So, you know, we're here, we're dedicated to taking care of our patients, our high-risk patients. Uh, we've got an amazing team of OBGYNs, you know, midwives, family practitioners. The whole team is incredible. So. Thank you for having us on, and uh, I really appreciate you. And Dr. Sterkov is amazing. Yes, he is. And, and you also started Miracle Babies as well, which helps premature babies oh. and their families, which is great. Thank you for doing that for our community as well. Thank you so much, Stella. Really, you, you are very involved. Dr. Uh, Sean Donishan, thank you so much for joining us and um, talking about this important conversation. Thank you so much for having us. Have I appreciate it.